What's going on guys, it's Shell DZ, and today I want to talk to you about something that's kind of serious. Not many of you know that I am a full-time college student and I also work part-time, but somehow I still find a way to play video games. If you're wondering how to be a successful college student and still be a gamer, keep watching this video and I'll tell you how. So. Like I said, I'm a full-time college student, and when I say do well in college, I mean do well. I get straight A's and always go to class and still have time to play video games. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about going to college and playing video games is having to sacrifice. And what I mean by that is that I'm not able to play every game that comes out that I want to play but I still play the ones that interest me the most. And that's the first thing that you're gonna have to realize if you wanna still be a gamer in college. You're gonna have to realize that there's gonna be games that come out that are good and and look really fun and your friends get them and you wanna play them, but there's just no way around it that you don't have time for it. So what happens a lot of the times is You'll have to put games on the back burner, which isn't really a bad thing, but it's like in the long run, if you're trying to play a bunch of open world games or RPGs, your list of games on the back burner is going to keep going and going because you're never going to have enough time to play them. So another key to being a successful college student and a gamer is just trying to play games that I wouldn't say that are more simple, but more linear in, in a way that don't have so much open worldness to it so many things that get you sidetracked because that's the thing that's going to throw you off from school and from being a gamer if you're getting sidetracked then you're not getting done what you need to get done another thing that you need to do is prioritize school over playing video games while i'm a huge gamer and i love video games i'm going to school which is not free i'm paying for it so I have to realize that when I come home or I get off of work that, oh man, I could turn on my PS4 and, and play who knows what that I, that I have on the back burner. Or I could get my homework done that is due tomorrow. Another thing that you need to realize about doing well in college and, and still being a gamer is that you're not always going to be able to uh, play with your friends say your friends are like oh man let's hop on call of duty or, or battlefield or whatever and and you want to play too and you're like damn i want to play but guess what you got homework man you have to prioritize um school over anything and and realize that making sacrifices is the only way to do it right um, this all, this all kind of goes back for me to my high school days, um, back when I didn't take school so serious because obviously I wasn't paying for it. It's high school. It's, um, it's free, I guess for, unless you're, unless you're paying for like books or whatever. But yeah, so back in high school for me, I used to, uh, not do as well as I could have in, in school just because I would stay up all night playing video games like screw it, man. I don't, I don't even care. I'm, I'm not. I'm not thinking about college or anything. I'm probably not going to do college. That, that was my mindset at the time. i just stay up playing Call of Duty like, oh, man, I had to get to this next level and not unlock this next perk or whatever. And then as I went throughout high school, it, it got to be probably like junior year in high school. I realized that I'm like, oh, shit, I should probably take school more serious, right? But I, uh, as a lot of you know, that's kind of too late if you if you want to go to college as your uh, next step you know right out of high school it was kind of too late for me not to say that I was getting you know D's and F's throughout high school I was just getting you know B's and and occasionally A's and then maybe every once in a while or C or so you know when like I said now I get straight A's which isn't a problem to me um, so I just kind of realized that look uh, I have to do better and and I have to have to work at um, you know taking school serious and 
eventually you know came come like senior year or whatever that's when i first got my my job that's when i realized i'm like okay i gotta i gotta make some sacrifices i can't just play video games all day and, and not get shit done and i eventually you know i found that that happy balance between you know going to work and going to school and still having you know my free time to, to play some video games here and there and it's worked out actually really well for me but um yeah guys so just i'd say the number one thing to doing well in college and and still being a gamer is is realizing that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to make sacrifices there's only there's no way around it like coming up this fall there's a bunch of games that i want to play right probably like five or so games that i that i want to pick up guess how many i'll actually be picking up like two because school comes first you know if i picked up all those games and was trying to play them i wouldn't get anything done and my grades would be terrible you have to realize that if you're paying for college you should take it serious um just like you play just like you pay for a video game you take it serious you want to get the most out of it you want to get the most out of your college experience so take it serious guys but anyways guys if you guys enjoy enjoyed this little real talk go ahead and Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know if there's anything else that you think I should talk about or touch on in my own personal life or something that's bothering you. And drop a like on this video and subscribe for more content like this, guys. Thanks and have a good one.